My name is Linda Lohaftiwa. I'm Hopi and Choctaw um, from Arizona. My father is uh, was Clifford Lohaftiwa from the village of Shangolpavi, Second Mesa. And behind me is a picture of my aunt, his sister. Um, in Hopi way, uh, our aunts and our uncles um, are the ones that raise us at Hopi. Uh, they become our mothers and our fathers, so they're the ones that discipline us and they correct us and uh, teach us the, the ways of the Hopi. Um, uh, I've learned all my uh, ways of, of the Hopi tradition from, from my aunt Lula, who's behind me, um, and the teachings of my father and my grandfather, uh, which is all oral history. So um, they're, they're always told to us to remind us who we are, where we came from, my aunt Lula's uh, sun clan. She's wearing the uh, the hairdo of the young maidens uh, um, when you go through the um, the puberty ceremony. Um, you grind corn, um, and on the after the fourth day, um, your hair is your is wrapped up um, like she has it. The village of um, First Mesa, which is. Um, um, Polaka, Walpi, and Sejomavi, um, they're known for doing pottery. And they also have the, the Tewa uh, villages living, living there with them. Um, the other villages of uh, Second Mesa and Third Mesa um, mainly are known for basket weaving. Uh, so the women do the basket weaving. Uh, uh, the, men, the men do the weavings uh, on the loom for um, they, they weave the robes and the um, uh, sashes for ceremonial use, and they uh, weave the do the weavings for um, for the weddings. Uh, they, they weave the brides' of robes. So whenever you see those pictures of the the women uh, with the white robes, that's a married uh, marriage. Uh, the robe that they would use for uh, when they get married. Um, it's a long process of the Hopi wedding, and uh, they have to do all the, the weaving, all the preparation of, of uh, everything that it takes. Whoever was married during the year, the brides and the family will come out um, during our Kachina dances, uh, which is the last, the home dance, which is the last um, Kachina dance of the season, and that's usually in, um, towards the end of July. Um, I, like I said, um, I go, I try and go out to Hopi as often as I can for the main ceremonies. Um, the, the, uh, the, rest, the Kachinas come out during the uh, bean dance, which is in uh, February, um, and they come and uh, give gifts to the people and remind them of who, who the Kachina spirits are. Um, we have, uh, uh, five kivas in our village, and um, each kiva has um, a, a certain kachina that they'll use to, to bring out for ceremony. The corn mother is the one that goes to each one of the kivas and brings out all the kachinas. You can also get healed by the whippers. They, they, um, they come and whip you if you need to be healed uh, with the yucca uh, and the sticks. Um, Again, like I said, the, um, the gifts are given to the children, uh, kachina dolls to the girls, and um, bows and arrows to the boys. One of the, uh, uh, the stories of Hopi is, um, uh, and, and I use a lot of that uh, from, the, from the stories, uh, I use a lot of the, the information to do my artwork. I am, I'm a teacher and I'm an artist. Um, Mainly the story about um, the migration path, where you use a spiral, uh, which represents the migration path of the people. Um, the Hopi believe that we came from the center of the earth. We traveled around uh, um, throughout the whole world and settled at Hopi where we are now, and uh, uh, which is one of the hardest places to live. It's on top of Mesa. The um, uh, the, uh, the planting is done down below um, 
and we're, we depend on the, the rain to, to water the crops. So a lot of the ceremonies are about um, praying for rain to, to water the crops so we have uh, so we can grow the corn and the beans and the squash and uh, have food to live on. Uh, my father always took us to Hopi to, uh, to go to the main ceremonies, the dances, um, and we would spend our summer times out at Hopi, again being raised by my aunt and uncle and my, my grandparents until they passed on. The name Loma Haftiwa is a Hopi name, and it, um, my, the best translation for it uh, is, means uh, looking for good things in the future. Uh, I was fortunate enough to, um, that I was, or I was glad that my grandfather kept that name when, when we were growing up, or when he was growing up, um, and one of the ways that he was able to do that was he, um, he ran away from the boarding school when they, they tried to round up the Hopis to put them in boarding school. He ran away, and um, a lot of the Hopis that were in boarding school, they, they changed their names to something that, um, that they could pronounce. So, um, and basically the white men, you know, changed their names so, because they couldn't say the Hopi names. And that's how we were able to keep the Loma Hafti one name. Again, the translation of that name, uh, it trans it's telling a story, but it translates down to um, looking for good things in the future.